Hey guys, Vikas here and you are watching WG Labs. This is the second part of the video where we are working on integrating my regular BLTC fan which comes with an I remote into my home automation system to make it smarter. In the first part, we built a Wemos mini based module with a couple of IRLDs that mimics the signal sent by the original remote. This setup lets us publish the IR signal data to an MQTT topic which the module can then transmit. If you have not watched the first part yet, make sure to check that out. With that said, let's get started guys. So in open app, let's first create a thing for the remote controller. For that, get into settings, get into things. And here we already see MQTT broker is already configured because that's something I've already done. Uh, if you have not, you need to configure a broker that connects to your broker where your test motor device is already connected to and for that also you need to have the mkdt add-on installed otherwise you will not be able to configure that once that is taken care of we can just add a generic mkdt device for that i'll just select mkdt binding generic mkdt thing i'll just give it a name ir remote maybe fan and in bridge, I'll select the pre-configured MQTT broker. So I'll just create a thing. Once that is done, get into that thing. And here we need to create a channel using which we can basically publish messages from the OpenHive instance, which again can be received by the task motor. So here I'll go ahead and add channel. I'll just for time being set as text and we don't have it. Uh, state topic because uh, task motor doesn't tell you what command it received unless you configure that using a rule or so and we don't have exact feedback from the device because we are controlling the fan using IR LEDs and fan doesn't talk back the current state of it so we'll only have MQTT command topic where the basically will send commands from open app to the remote so here I'll just take this command topic configure it click on create okay just a second here just set the wire send great once that is done we can just go ahead and create items to control the fin so over here i'll create three items but that would depend on the remote you are using for me for the fan i am going to have speed control on off and then oscillation so i'll just go ahead create a new item for speed i'm going to create of type string we'll use transformation actually but we'll come to that later on for timing i'll just create fan speed as string then again i'll create another item and they all are going to use the same channel because we'll have the same topic publish the IR data. So this is going to be oscillation. And fan oscillation. This is going to be of type switch. Again, here we'll need to use transformation, but we'll come to that later again. And the next one is going to be just a second i need to just change this date One more for fan status. You can actually give more convenient names um, if you are having a lot of devices, but this is a test open app setup, so I don't have any other devices added. So I'll just go with simple names. Here again, this is going to be of type switch. And that's all we have three uh, items that will control oscillation speed and status 
the status will basically make it on and off so once this is done we need to add certain transformations because the task motor module is expecting the ir data and from these items we can only send you know string or maybe on and off right so we need to do the transformation now get into settings again uh, and here get into transformations before that you need to ensure that you have uh, basically javascript uh, javascript scripting add-on is already installed uh, because i'm going to use the javascript transformation for that this is needed so again let's get into settings and transformations here i'll add a transformation of type javascript and the first one is going to be um, basically status control and this is going to be a simple transformation where no matter what we get as the data we'll just uh, send out this particular command which basically turns or toggles the state of the fan so if it is on it will make it off and if it is off it will make it on so yeah we don't need any input here just save it now the next one is the oscillation control for that again we is just going to be simple toggle so we don't need any input it will just for any command it will just output this string here okay now the other one is going to be speed transform here uh, is going to basically output multiple values based on the input data so here we are expecting the values are going to be from 1 to 6 which will um, basically govern the speed of the fan and based on the input value it would return a particular ir command so that the speed can be controlled so i'll just save it again you can find all these scripts and all that in the github repo now once that is done let's get back to items and just get it to channels and here we'll just use in the transformation script and here this is the oscillation control so we'll use this oscillation control but we need to put it here for item command to think transformation save it go back then speed then script and we need to use speed transformation same here item command to think transformation save now get back to fan status and again script status control now we are all set here our channels things and items are already configured so now let's work on a basic uh, ui where it will let us control the fan from the screen so basically i get into pages i'll create a simple ui i just want to create a sitemap safe if you are creating sitemaps those can be used with android apps and all that so here i'll basically get into code mode and paste my already created sitemap so basically here we are adding three items like uh, one set point which will start with a value of one and it can go till six with a step of one that will basically let us control the speed of the fan second is a switch atom which will toggle the oscillation and third is again a switch atom which will toggle the status of the fan ok 
okay uh, we have it here now just change the item so for speed it's going to be fan speed for oscillation it's going to be fan oscillation and for status it's going to be the fan status item okay now it's configured so let's get into the basic ui and let's see if we can control the fan or not okay uh, let's see if open hive is publishing those messages for us or not let's slow down the speed and let's open here now you see each time we press this button speed button uh, to slow it down the command changes we can toggle the oscillation and toggle the fan status so now let's see if the fan is getting control or not i'll just change the status of it it should get turned on yep now i'll just change the oscillation it stopped now let's change the speed yep uh, it seems to be getting controlled again uh, you can see here there is no feedback so the exact status of the fan doesn't get reflected so if you control the fan by using the original remote you will not get the exact status but this certainly helps you automate from open app so that's all with this guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if so hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet consider subscribing it for videos like this see you next time with our next video till then goodbye